What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from No Shelf Space and today I'm going to teach you how to set up and play Coffee Rush. First things first, you're going to want to take your uh, ingredients board and set it somewhere in the middle of the table so that all players can access it easily. Then you're going to give each player a player board and in this case I'm going to set up a three player game but I'm just going to set up two players that you can see and the other player will set up uh, off screen just down here. Okay. Once you've set up, uh, you've given everything for the three players, you want to go into your box and find the tokens that apply to each player. So as you can see here, I found the blue players tokens, which don't matter, but here we go. I've got the red player tokens. And so you'll just start placing these brown side up on to the squares of the player who it belongs to. And so you'll do that for each and every piece in the game. Not too hard. It's actually, oops, this player board's upside down. It's not too hard. Um, getting this game set up only actually takes a few minutes, which is actually pretty awesome. There are some games with this many pieces where it takes a really long time to get them set up. Um, but I'm not going to set up all the other ones. You can see the green player down here is set up. We're going to leave it at that. You're going to give a first player, you're going to pick a first player token, and you're going to set to open. So we're going to give the green player the first player token. You're going to set out some rush tokens for everyone to use. Each player is going to get a meeple, and each player is going to, for now, just set the meeple on their player board. So that we got yellow and we got pink. Set the two resource trays available for all players to access. You're going to want to take the order cards from the box and give them a quick shuffle. I just shuffled these recently and I just dropped a whole bunch. Of course I did, but just give them a quick shuffle and set them down. Now, in a three player game, you're going to give the first player two, um, two orders on their number one and one order on their number two. And the other players will get one on one, one on two, one on one and one on two and you put the rest available for all players to access each player is going to get three little cups which they can place above their board just like that again overproduced potentially but i love it <laughs> i absolutely love it okay there you go. Once you've done all that, everybody has all their players. We're not quite ready to start the game yet. Each player gets to place their meeple onto the board, and wherever they place it, they're going to get that resource. So, as you will understand why later, I want to get this one done, this recipe done for the green player, because it's in the level 2 slot. Now, at the end of your turn, you're going to shuffle all your cards down one. So, this one is in the level 2 slot. It's going to require coffee beans, caramel, caramel, and ice. So I can look at the board, there's caramel, there's ice, there's coffee beans. I'm gonna start on the coffee beans and I'm gonna take a coffee bean from the supply and add it to one of my cups. And the other players are gonna do the same thing, placing their figures somewhere on the board and adding one ingredient to their cup. Now, starting with the first player, on your turn, you can do a number of things. First, if you have three or more completed cards, and for the sake of this example, I'm going to say that we do. Let's say we have a bunch of completed orders that we finished. We can spend three of those cards to activate any one of the upgrades on our board. And I'm going to do that. I am going to upgrade, let's say, um, two times corner ingredients. So I'm going to up up activate that upgrade. And now I've given away three points because every order is worth one point. However, each of your upgrades will be worth two points. So you've lost a point, yes, but you're getting this upgrade for the rest of the game. So the first thing you do is check if you want to purchase an upgrade, which I did want to do. Then you move. You can move up to three spaces during a turn. And if you have some of these rush tokens, you can move additional spaces, one per rush token. So I'm going to move here. Now, I did just purchase this double corner. So I get two resources on the corner. So I would select two water from the supply. And I'm just going to put them right over here for now because we're not going to fill up our cups quite yet. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to take a single 
caramel from the supply. And now I'm going to look at some of my cards. This one up here, I need chocolate. I need milk. I need milk. So I'm going to come over here with my third movement and take a single milk. Okay. Once you've collected your resources, which I have here from my turn, you can start placing them in cups. Now, you can never move. Once you've placed something in a cup, it's there. You can't swap items between cups. But I can put these in any cups. Now, remember, I'm trying to complete this one right here, which requires a coffee bean, a caramel, and a ice. So I'm going to take a caramel, and I'm going to take an ice cube, and I'm going to add them to this little coffee cup here with the, has the coffee bean in it. And then I have these two left. Now this one, one of these requires a milk and an ice cube. And I have a milk and an ice cube left. Now I'm not going to be able to do it this turn, but I'm going to add those to this cup right here. Oops, that fell out. I'm going to add that to that cup and put that back. All right, so, and now you can fulfill an order. So I only have one order fulfilled, but I'm going to fulfill it right there. So I'm going to put that in my completed order section. I'm going to put the caramel in the way put this all away, and that has earned me a point. When that happens, the two players to the right of that player must then take cards from the deck equal to the number of orders I fulfilled. So I fulfilled one order, as you can see here. So this player will get a single card in their top row, and this player will get a single card in their top row. And now play is going to pass to the second player who's going to move, gather resources, do their thing, and then it goes on and on and on. If you ever have cards at the bottom, oh, sorry, I forgot to say that. At the end of your turn, you take your cards and you move them all down one. Let's say we're later in the game, and this is what my tableau looks like, right? I end my turn. This card at the bottom, it's going to come over here. It is now worth negative points at the end of the game because I wasn't able to fulfill it. This is going to go down, this is going to go down, this is going to go down like that. Now, when you do put a card down here, you do get to take a rush token and add it to your board. The other time you get to take a rush token is if you ever complete a specialty drink right there. So we have a specialty menu item. So if that were ever to be completed, the pink player would get a rush token. The game ends when this deck is empty and when people cannot draw cards anymore, you take the open sign and you flip it to close and you make sure that there have been an equal number of turns and then you count your score. Your score comes from your upgrade tiles, two points each, the number of completed order cards that you have not spent, and then minus the number of orders you didn't fulfill. So this would not be an end game situation, but let's give us an end game situation. So let's say I have this situation, let's give me a couple cards there. There we go. Okay, so I get two, four, six points, seven, eight, nine, ten points, minus three. So my final score would be seven. If there is a tie, you see who completed the most order cards. If there's still a tie, you see who has the most rush tokens left over. And if there's still a tie, the tied players share the victory. And that is how you play Coffee Rush. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and check out all the other great content on the video on the channel. We do have an unboxing video. If you want to see some of this stuff closer up, you can take a look at that. But guys, I appreciate you watching this. There may have been some goofs. I'm getting I'm new at this. I'm trying to get this done. If you do catch a goof in my rules teach, please let me know in the comments so I can add a pinned comment. Until next time, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll chat again soon. Goodbye.